Hello everyone, today I'm going to do a little uh, demonstration of how I find out what my the, capa the capacity on my batteries are. I'm using a LiPro Balance Charger, the IMAX B6. Uh, you can pick this up for around $25. I'll put a link in the description for you. Uh, it works great for what I need it for. And uh, I use it for charging uh, lithium-ion batteries as well as my uh, remote control devices. Uh, I also jerry-rigged a little battery charger I had. Uh, basically just to run a positive negative lead to to a uh, battery so that I can easily charge and discharge them and here I have the telecharger from Nikkor i4 it's a version 2 and I'm using it to uh, to give me a consistent charge on all the batteries I use so that I know that I get the same charge every time so um, what I'm going to do I'm going to start with the 18650 here and uh, this battery I harvested from a uh, laptop uh, battery pack. It cost me around twelve dollars, and I'm going to see how much it can hold. So we'll put it into the charge, into the holder here. Uh, lithium ion. We're going to choose standard settings. Uh, I'm just going to hit start on this. Actually, I don't want to charge it, so let's go back one. Uh, okay, we want to discharge it. So I'm going to discharge it at one amp and add. At the, basically the default settings so I'm going to hit start on this alright it's confirming that I have the right battery and I do so I'll just hit start here and what I'm, I'm going to do now is uh, allow this to discharge all the way down and over here it should tell me how many milliamp hours the actual battery stored so I'll put that on uh, time lapse so as to make this really quick and then we'll go from there All right, so that one battery now had came out to have 1,793 uh, milliamp hours on it, as you can see right there. So let's take it out, put it back on charge here, and let's try one of the big ultra fires. This is a 26, um, 26, 650, and it claimed to be 6,000 milliamp hours. So let's see what we actually get on this. I'll go back. Same program, we're going to discharge it. Okay. And uh, we'll start it up and I'll uh, put it on time lapse for the next to the end. Okay, so there we are. We're finished uh, charging up the Ultra Fire um, LC26550, or sorry, 650, and it's supposed to be 6,000 milliamp hours. Obviously, it's not. It's 3171. Uh, I paid around, I think it was eight dollars for one of these batteries. So they're fairly expensive batteries, and uh, yeah, well, understand you're not going to get 6,000 milliamps. You're going to get about half of that. That's what I, at least that what I show on that battery. Uh, the this one here is a 6800 milliamp uh, ultra fire and it was uh, I believe around $12 for this one battery so these are fairly expensive batteries now this harvested battery that I got the 18650 I got that out of a uh, uh, battery pack that I paid $14 for and I got six of these batteries out of it and uh, so that's a pretty good deal at uh, two dollars and two and a half dollars a piece basically um, Excellent price, excellent deal. So I, I will continue to get my batteries that way. Uh, the flashlights that take the take these batteries also uh, can take the 18650s. Uh, but again, these are almost twice the capacity of these uh, batteries, which makes sense. It's not the 6,000 milliamps and 6,800 milliamp hours. I'm sure uh, we won't come up with uh, on that. So let's go back here, do it again. And it's ready to go, so there we go. And uh, I'll put this on time lapse again. Well, there you can see what a serious disappointment that 6,800 uh, milliamp hours is. Only got 1912 uh, on that. 
So I'm going to take that one aside. Let's try another big one. See what we get. And it's my fault. Alright, uh, let's get this one. This is exactly the same with uh, 26 to 5, uh, 26 to 650, uh, 6800 uh, milliamp hour bat battery. Let's try it again. Get it right. I'm not getting a good connection here. Okay, uh, time lapse and we'll con continue from there. Well, there's another result. The 18, I got 1890 uh, milliamp hours out of this uh, ledge 6800 milliamp uh, hour battery, which cost me more than the blue one. This one here, the, the 26650. And uh, does not give me as much uh, power or, or uh, storage capability. So let's go with an 18650 Ultra Fire here just for fun. Let's compare it to their harvested batteries and see how good that is. Let's put it in. Now this one's claimed 4,000 milliamp hour. This is an 18650 um, BRC with a 4,000 milliamp hour rating. 3.7 volt lithium ion and of course ultra fire again. So let's just start that up or discharge that. There we go. Well, 420 is certainly not 4,000 milliamp hours. So we're seeing here that these ultra fires, well, you know, I can't tell you whether they're original or fake. But I can tell you they're not, you know, that's like almost a bit more than a tenth of what it's supposed to have in, in uh, juice in it. So, I mean, I can't even say that's an acceptable battery to buy. Um, you know, 4,000 milliamp hours, 420. Wow, that's just terrible. Let's uh, try a purple ultra fire, see how much that is. You know, again, I don't know if these are real or fake, and I have no way of telling the difference between them. But I can tell you right now. They're not a good value, at least not that one anyways. The red one was terrible. Now this one says 4,500 milli 4, milliamp hours. You know, we'll see. Let's just do another test. Okay, so we'll start that up. So no big surprise here, 632 milliamp hours out of a 4,500 milliamp hour spec uh, battery. So these ultra fires are Obviously, very disappointing batteries. Um, you know, I'll could, I, I can continue to test them. I guess I'll do one more here. What the heck? And uh, basically, I'm, I'll go back to um, my harvested batteries from my uh, HP laptop pack and uh, uh, test one another one of those just to see if it's as good as it as the rest of them are. Uh, looks like they like they all are. But here, let's do this again. Now this one's an Ultrafire LC18650 and it is a 3000 milliamp uh, hour rating. Let's start the test. So yet another uh, Ultrafire disappointment. This says 3000 milliamp hours, 430 milliamp hours is what I got out of it. So basically, um, you know, way short of what they're advertising and uh, highly disappointing. So, another Ultra Fire disappointment. Uh, so, is there one that doesn't disappoint us? No, not yet. Uh, let's try this. I'm gonna try a uh, little uh, 16, no, oh, sorry, uh, 1450 right there, uh, 1200 milliamp hours. And, you know, I'm not gonna hold my breath, but let's see what we get with it. Okay, and we're going to go. 
All right, yet another ultra fire disappointment on the 14500 uh, battery. Now, you'll notice that it says 239 milliamp hours and it's supposed to have 1200 milliamp hours. So, uh, what, a fourth uh, approximately of what the um, rated amount of power it's supposed to store. So, again, uh, you know, a big goose egg on that. Uh, Basically, this is the reason why I no longer buy UltraFire uh, batteries because, you know, I don't know what's legitimate or, you know, or a uh, counterfeit product or if all of it is just, you know, inferior product. But I'm not wasting my money on any more of that stuff. And uh, I suggest that you don't either. Now, uh, out of all of the UltraFires, the blue uh, LC26650, uh, which was rated at 6,000 milliamp hours, uh, gave the best overall performance at 50% uh, or a little less than 50% of its power um, storage capability. So uh, next I'm going to do a nickel, nickel metal hydride battery, uh, AA, uh, and it's a Chinese battery as well, but you know, actually it's going to uh, more or less uh, prove that not all of them are bad. All right, next I'm going to do a nickel metal hydride, AA. This is a, here we go if I get it in focus, there it is. It's a Thunderbolt Magnum, uh, 1.2 volt nickel metal hydride, 22 milli 2200 milliamp hours. Let's see if we get that much out of it. Uh, by the way, this is a Chinese uh, battery that I bought from, uh, I believe it's Chinese anyways, from uh, Amazon. And I'll post a link to it because I know it performs well. So, uh, let's we're going to we're gonna select the nickel metal hydride battery and go with the defaults here. And we're going to go to discharge again. And we're going to let it discharge. Okay, so there's an example of truth in advertising. As you can see, uh, I have 2230 milliamp hours out of this one little battery. So, this one little battery, this uh, nickel metal hydride rechargeable, and it is a Thunderbolt Magnum uh, AA. Nickel, and as you can see, it says 2,200 milliamp hours. Well, I actually got 30 milliamps more than than that out of the uh, um, test. So, not all the batteries are, uh, you know, a, a letdown or, or uh, what do you call it, um, false advertising. This one's actually the actual rated power or power storage that it's supposed to have. So, uh, I, like I said, I'll put a, a link to this char this charger, this charger. Um, not this because it's something I jury rigged, but uh, uh, in the description as well as these batteries because obviously these are very good batteries and uh, they're quite economical. I think I paid like uh, $6 for two of them and uh, they've been great so far. Um, so, you know, uh, these things here, well, I don't recommend them very highly. Do not buy the UltraFire um, batteries. Uh, I would have to say one of the exceptions was the blue battery. I don't know where I put that right now. The 2650 version of this uh, actually, actually, you know, it gave me about half of what it was supposed to give me, maybe a little less, uh, but it's better than nothing. Um, now, just so you know, uh, the same uh, flashlight that takes this battery will also take an 18650. So if you get a really good 18650, it'll beat these batteries in, in uh, capacity. Um, again. These were, I believe, nine dollars. These are here. This, these were about eight, nine bucks a piece. The blue one was about, I don't know, uh, six dollars uh, for one of the, for this. Oh, here it is. For this one was about six dollars or six or seven dollars. Anyways, uh, but actually, this one I performed. This one, these ones. So I wouldn't even bother with the red ones. Um, again, you never know what you're getting. You never know if it's original or uh, if it's counterfeit product, but. Uh, like I said, I'll put the links for the stuff that I know is good in, into the description. And that's my little video on uh, checking the capacity on your batteries. If you have a lot of batteries like I do and uh, you use them in your flashlights and various other devices, I highly recommend that you get this equipment. Uh, the charger, the Nightcore charger, um, the i4 version 2, version 2, and I'll put a link for that. The IMAX B6 uh, LiPro balanced charger I'm sure you'll find all sorts of comments on on you know whether it's good or bad or whatever but for my purposes it works great 
Uh, again, realize that if you're buying this this uh, charger that it does come without a, a power supply, you have to supply that yourself. And it should be a 12 volt power supply. I'm using a 5 amp uh, laptop power supply and it works great. And uh, again, uh, with all this equipment, make sure you read the uh, instruction manuals on proper handling and charging as uh, you know, doing this incorrectly could have uh, uh, unintended results uh, like, you know, uh, a battery destruction uh, and a physical harm if you don't do it right. So, you know, yes, these batteries can be overcharged and yes, they can explode if you if they're not protected. So, uh, again, follow the safety measures and, and rules and uh, charge on. That's it for my video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a favor, click on the like button right down here. And, uh, you know, if you wish to subscribe to my channel, just click on this link up here. And that should subscribe you to the, the uh, Richard Lloyd channel or Richard Lloyd USA channel. Um, okay, again, thank you very much for your time and watching.